Hi there, I'm Jason Wartzman. I'm the corporate chef at Bothwell Cheese in Manitoba. Today I'm going to be preparing for you a Belgian endive and pear salad with a warm aged cheddar dressing. One of the great things about this salad is you can present it beautifully on individual plates uh, at least uh, an hour ahead of time. As long as you use a little bit of lemon juice uh, mixed in a solution, the cut surfaces of both Belgian endive and pears uh, will brown over time. Chop and dip it into a little bit of lemon juice here and that will prevent any sort of browning afterwards. So I'm going to take these uh, leaves of endive here and I'm just going to put them around the plate in, in a star shape. And then I'm going to chop some more leaves to put into the center. Coarse crossways chop here. And once again though, we do need to add some lemon juice or these will discolor. This will stay crispy and it will keep its color really well. Now I'm going to take this lovely red Anjou pear. First I'll cut it in half lengthwise. And then I'll quarter it. Just remove the core from the quarter like so. And then I'm going to cut it as thinly as possible to make the points for our star of our salad. And I've chosen this red pear um, more for contrast of color than anything else. So we have sort of the whitish yellow leaves of the endive salad. And now you see we have these lovely red star points here. Next we're going to uh, prepare some of our garnishing ingredients, uh, which would be our hazelnuts and our spring onion. If anyone's seen the movie Ratatouille, uh, take it from Colette. You do need to clean up as you go along. When it comes to these kind of things, composting is always best. So these are raw hazelnuts, also known as filberts. Now, that's kind of a, a crazy name, but I, I personally know a lot of nuts who have much goofier names than filbert. I would normally roast them in the oven and uh, they will become kind of a darkish brown, even uh, little black spots in some places, then let them cool off. Uh, so once these are done, they give a beautiful, uh, clean, nutty, nutty aroma to them. It's really a shame that we don't have uh, scratch and smell uh, TV technology yet, but uh, hopefully it will be coming soon. Everyone could just run up to the screen and have a sniff. Then the other garnish we're gonna be using on top is some spring onion. I've chosen this uh, partly for the color contrast for this salad and also just to give another dimension of flavor here. But I'm just gonna very, very finely chop a very small amount of this here. And you'll see that we're just gonna sprinkle it over the salad at the very, very last second. And once again, to the compost. And the next step will be to prepare our dressing. I'm going to grate this cheddar. This is a lovely aged cheddar from Bothwell Cheese. This cheddar is made with heat treated milk, which means that uh, it was not pasteurized, but uh, was brought up to a slightly lower temperature, which is what uh, we do to make uh, the best quality world-class cheddars. You should always try your ingredients. Just to make sure that there's no errors in, uh, in anything you've chosen. There's no defects. Yeah, there's a lovely fruity. Yeah, you can definitely pick up some pear in that. Take uh, about uh, half to three quarters of a cup of wine in here. So I'm going to pour the champagne vinegar in. I'm going to take uh, about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. Just continue letting that to simmer. We will also need to add about a half a cup of cream here. Once we've got that uh, cooking nicely, what we're gonna do is add this cheddar in to the dressing. And it is very important not to boil uh, any type of a, a liquid once you're adding cheese to it. Uh, you wanna just have the temperature enough to melt it. It's the same principle when you're making a fondue or a cheese soup. It's time to cut to the cheese. Gradually add this cheese in and it will melt. Mm, that's just perfect. We're going to drizzle the dressing on here. Ever so nicely all the way around. And we don't need to be shy with the dressing. Hazelnuts which once again add beautiful contrast of texture as well as a visual appeal. And voila, you have a beautiful gourmet salad. See you soon 
in your living room.